Is it a good idea to increase productivity by taking a training course? Watch for the things that you have to consider before making such a decision. The Canadian Foundation for Economic Education and the Joint Council on Economic Education present trade-offs. <laughs> Good summer job if you don't start looking for one soon. Yeah, well, I'll probably be helping in my dad's restaurant like I do every Saturday. Are you still going to keep working outside the supermarket? Yeah, I'll probably be hauling groceries like I do every Saturday. How much do you make now on a Saturday? About ten dollars. How much do you make? Well, it depends on how my dad's feeling. If he's in a good mood, I earn around 10 too. That's not enough. I wish there were more jobs that paid more. Yeah, that's the way it is, though. This summer, be a junior supervisor. Your city needs young men and women ages 14 through 16 to work as junior supervisors in your playgrounds. Apply now. Peter Mazzoni, Superintendent of Recreation, Room 219, Municipal Building. Probably got a million applications by now. Yeah. But I bet they haven't run to a couple of stars like us yet. Come on. <laughs> It. Okay, go ahead. No, no. <laughs> after you. No, I insist. After you. Are you looking for me? Are you Mr. Mazzoni? That's right. Hi. I'm Judy Curry. I'm Andrea Burton. Nice to meet you, girls. Are you looking for jobs as junior supervisors? Sure are. That well, would be great. Come on inside, and I'll tell you how it works. It's a weekend course in games management, first aid, starts this Saturday and goes for eight weeks every Saturday morning. All right. Is that a problem? Oh, no. No, it's fine. All right. This course will give you the knowledge and skills you'll need to be a junior supervisor. If you take the course and pass, then you may be picked to be a junior supervisor. But, of course, there's no guarantee you actually will be picked. It's not for sure, even if you pass? Well, we have a lot of people taking the course, but uh, this year we only need ten junior supervisors. But if you don't take the course, you don't have any chance at all? Right. You have to take the course and get the training or you won't be eligible. We just wouldn't be able to hire you. Our junior supervisors have to be able to organize groups and activities. And above all, they have to know how to cope with emergencies. Mm -hmm. So, here are your applications. Thank you. If you want to give it a try, get them in right away. If we take that course for eight Saturdays, we're not going to be able to work at the jobs we have now, up until summer vacation begins. It's okay by me. But we lose the opportunity to make $10 a week. You're right. It'll cost us eight weeks times $10. That's $80 we each lose if we take the course. Plus, it says here it costs $20 for books and equipment. 80 plus 20 is $100 just to take the course. But if we did get the jobs, We'd make more than we make now. 
I don't know if it's worth it spending a hundred dollars for a job you might not even get. It's taking a chance, all right. But I'm really tired of that supermarket hauling those groceries around. I'm gonna hand in my application. Come on, we could do it together. I'm not sure. Oh, come on, I am. We're both taking a chance. Yeah, I guess I will too. Okay. So, what do you think? I think it's a great idea. The training will be good for you. It means you'll be a little stuck for cash for the next couple of months. Stuck? I'll be bankrupt. You'll have a summer job, though, that you can go back to every year you're in school. If I pass the course and come in the top ten. Otherwise, I'm out of $100. Now, wait a minute. You'll know a lot about organizing children's games and about first aid. There must be other jobs where you could use that kind of skill, like uh, summer camps, community centers. I know, but $100 is $100. Well, how are you going to pay the course fee, the $20? I'm going to have to take it out of my savings account and get a money order, which I'd better do now so I can send it in with my application. See ya. Bye. She'll pass the course. Yeah, I hope so. I hope the course isn't too hard. You're not kidding. I really want to pass. Yeah. Oh, hi. Come on in. We're ready to go. So how's the course going? It's a snap. All we have to do before next Saturday is read all this book, plus one from the library, make notes, learn how to put on bandages, and how to make a good splint. We're going to be the ones that need first aid before this is all over with. Hey, that tickles. Watch it. Would you mind being a little quiet? You're going to damage the epidermis. You're unconscious, you know. Well, I'm not, and I've got a babysit in five minutes. So can you get this splint off? Not until Mom checks it. Oh, yeah. just a minute. Um, Finished. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, the splint looks OK. <sighs> that head bandage looks more like a headache to me. Do you mind? Mr. Mazzoni says concentration is 95% of success. And that didn't help. You don't have to concentrate. You're a victim. <laughs> Oh, what do you think, Bob? Will I survive? Oh. <laughs> I finished the chapter on leaders' responsibility. Good. Now you're going to learn how to play hopscotch. Too late. I already know how to play hopscotch. Besides, I tried that stuff on my little brother. Pretend you don't know how. Everybody in the world knows how to play hopscotch. Oh, come on. Step one. Find a level piece of concrete or asphalt surface. The driveway's perfect. Step two, with a piece of chalk. Step three, find somebody else. I have to go back to the library. Andrea! Nervous? Let's get it over with. If we're doomed, we're doomed. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. There's the list. So let's go see how we made out. I can't. You look. How do you spell your last name? You know how to spell my name. Get it over with. Hi, look who's here. Congratulations. Have you checked the list? No, I passed. You sure did. Haven't you seen? No, I was chicken, so Andrew was going to. She was here just a second ago. Andrea didn't pass the course, unfortunately. She didn't? She can try again. The competition was very stiff this year. Anyway, you'll be starting as soon as school's out, so give me a call then, all right? Sure. Thanks. Got one of those jobs, eh? Where did you go? I just didn't want Mazzoni to see me. I'm sorry about you not making it. Not as sorry as me. I, gee, I thought you'd pass. So did I. Take the course again next year. Lose another hundred dollars? You'll pass, and then you'll make more money. 
It'll still be worth it. I guess so. Anyways, I'm glad one of us got a job. Paycheck. Wow, is that ever good? Where's your boss? Isn't there supposed to be a senior supervisor around for your first two weeks? She's gone for a minute, but in a couple of years, I'll be the boss. I hope. Hey, Judy, will you teach us how to play hopscotch? Sure. Let's find the truck. I know it's right here somewhere. Just a minute, let me. Um, here it is. Oh, good. Let's go. The training course increased Judy's productivity. With her training in first aid and games management, she became a junior supervisor and earned more money. What did Judy have to consider before investing in the training course? To take the training course, Judy had to give up making $80 on Saturdays. And she had to use $20 of her savings. And she was not even sure that her investment would pay off in a new job. Judy took the risk and got a new job. Andrea took the same risk. But she did not get a new job. Her investment did not have the same result as Judy's. Deciding whether or not to invest in additional training is not easy. Watch. That's great that Judy got that job as playground supervisor. Oh, she really enjoys it. It took her eight weeks to do the course, but it was worth it. I think it's a really good opportunity for her. Yeah, you know, you could learn something from her, Myrna. Don't say it, Charlie. By taking that course, Judy got a better job. The same applies to you. I've got a good enough job. Sure you have, but not as good as you could have. Look. I'll be retiring as draftsman here in a year and a half. See, now, I know you're a terrific secretary, but take it from me, you'd be a great draftsman. Drafts person, Charlie. Whatever. Oh, I don't know. But look how well you draw. I mean, that's without any formal training. I just help you with the easy parts when I'm finished with my regular work. Sure you do. But if you took that one-year drafting course at community college, you could do all the drawing. Uh, here's the number you wanted, H-E-103. H-E-103, thanks. Now, I've already talked to the partners, and they are interested if you complete the course. You mean quit my job and take a drafting course for a year? Why not? Then you come back here before I retire, and you apply for the job. See, I could show you the ropes. <sighs> what do I do for money while I'm studying? My family depends on my salary. Well, uh, talk it over with them. They may not need as much money as you think. It's only for a year, and then you'd be earning more money later. So Charlie really said you'd be great at drafting, eh? I think that's neat. Oh, come on, let's forget about it. I only mentioned it because, well, he was encouraging. You really want to do it, don't you? The drafting course? Yeah. Yes, I do. I think I'd be very good at it. And I'd make a lot more money, plus I'd be doing something I loved. But on the other hand, if they replaced me now as a secretary and then I don't pass, what then? What do you think, Judy? I think it's a great idea. When does the course start? Now, wait a minute. We're still discussing whether or not it's a good idea. I think you should. You love to draw. Drafting would be a perfect job for you. Well, there's something else. If I do it, I won't be able to do all the housework. We'll have to spread the work around a bit more. 
I'm only working afternoons now, but the course is full time, nine to five. And then there's the time it takes commuting back and forth to school. Are you saying we'd have to run the house? A lot more than you do now. But more important, we'd have to do without some of the things we have now. That's right. I'm bringing in about $300 a month. Now that pays for a lot of luxuries. Yeah, like these steaks. And also some of the necessities. Do you realize how much it costs to run this house? We can do without some of the luxuries and maybe cut down on other things if we have to. It's only a year. Well, I hope you feel the same way when you have to go back to school without any new clothes. Oh, Mom, really? Clothes? Well, I'll have to pay the tuition for the first half of the year right away. And that's $300. And I'll lose a lot of time and money commuting. But once you pass the course, you'll make all that up. You'll have a better salary, and your work will be more interesting. Yeah, that's true. But are you sure you and Sandy realize what you're getting into? You don't get too many volunteers for housework now. Bring me the salt and pepper, would you have? Sure. Well, okay then. Let's try it for a week before you sign up. See how it goes. That's a good idea. We'll do all the jobs you usually do. And then if you decide not to take the course, you've had a holiday. I'll do the budgeting. I can do a lot of the cooking. I don't care how much it hurts. I can do the grocery shopping. It can't be all that hard to find a bargain. And weekends, we can work together on the housework. That way, it wouldn't be too much for anyone. Mom, I don't find it such a hard job looking after a house. It isn't. Not if everybody pitches in. Did you ever think she'd turn out to be such a good cook? This isn't bad. <laughs> Wait till you taste my scalloped potatoes. Oh. <laughs> Do you smell something burning? My scalloped potatoes! Here. Mm. I'll get it. I'm glad this week's over. I never realized Mum worked so hard. Well, even if she doesn't take the course, at least we've all learned something from it. That was the school. I've been accepted. I can take the course if I want to. I'll have to go over tomorrow and register, though. And I'll need to have a check for $300 right away. So what is it, Mom? Yes or no? The content of trade-offs was developed entirely with funds from a consortium of 46 state and provincial education agencies. Other funds for trade-offs were provided by these foundations and corporations. This program was produced by the Filmworks for the Ontario Educational Communications Authority. Animated segments produced by Goldshaw and Associates under the supervision of AIT, the Agency for Instructional Television. Yes.